Well, when it comes to improving appearance, data from the Aesthetic Society shows that more and more people are opting for non-invasive cosmetic therapies, and that's leading to an overall about 14% increase in aesthetic procedures. In our HealthCast today, we're taking a look at one of the very latest advancements for the face and for the neck. Makeup artist Victoria Duke works with faces for a living, and as she herself enters her 60s, she fully understands how many of her clients feel about aging. And I've heard women say they feel like they're disappearing as they get older and they're not worthy. And this is exactly the time to be seen and to take care of yourself, do things that make you feel beautiful. Victoria was intrigued by a new device called the M-Face, which Dr. Leslie Clark Loser says can address the complex process of facial aging in a three-dimensional way. And bringing in devices that can actually address these different anatomical layers that are undergoing their own aging process in a non-invasive way is super appealing. The device works with two different sources of energy, high-intensity focused electrical stimulation and something called monopolar radio frequency. This is allowing for tissue remodeling that's inducing or causing more production of collagen, elastin, and hyaluronic acid, as well as stimulating the muscle cells. So they're not only getting stronger, but they're actually replicating. So we are causing this rejuvenation all of all those layers of facial tissues. And that includes the neck. So this submental area we can get to non-invasively. So it's a win-win. The protocol typically requires a minimum of four sessions, but after just one treatment, Victoria herself says she already sees a difference. This procedure does it all with no downtime. I can't think of anything better. Looking good. Well, beyond aesthetics, M-Face may be beneficial to people with functional issues as well, things like Bell's palsy or facial paralysis because of a stroke. It cannot be performed, though, on people with pacemakers, defibrillators, or those who have metal in the treatment area. Universal Orlando.